our affirmation on the seven. There you go, uh, okay. one of our. There you go, everybody about to pass the Wilbur. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <Think> of that. <laughs> the seven. You say it once for us to hear, then you take us through three times. You break it into pieces for all of us to respond when you say it. And you have to say that nice and loud. Nice and loud. Thank you. I know you have the a big voice more than me. <laughs> so no, that's the one on yes, the very first pitch. The very first pitch. The seventh, yes please. The seventh day. Seventh day. Yeah. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Yes. Go again. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Uh-huh. Okay. So you say it once for all or loudly for all of us to hear. Then after that, you go through it three times and we will respond three times. After the first one, you take a breath, you go through the second one, you take a breath, and then the third time again. So you want me to say it out loud? Yes. 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 Loud and proud. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Okay. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Let's read, respond. Read, read the whole thing first. Yeah. That is the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Perfect, perfect, perfect wisdom. wisdom is in my heart. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Perfect, perfect wisdom, wisdom is in my heart. heart. Last one. Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Perfect, Perfect wisdom, wisdom is in my heart. Let's, let's be quiet and then dilate on it, meditate on it. How does this reflect to you? Not the meaning, but how does this reflect in your life? Perfect wisdom is in my heart. Perfect wisdom to me is understanding. Uh -huh. In this situation, what we are going to see, what we are going to experience, yeah. what we are going to reflect on. Thank you. So perfect wisdom is in my heart to understand this that we are going to see. Awesome. Maybe someone else? Perfect wisdom is in my heart to understand myself. Perfect wisdom is not in your mind. Why is that perfect wisdom is not in your hands? Why is that perfect wisdom is not in the outer body of you? Because your heart is where you judge. Your heart is where you judge. Where you judge. Thank you. You have to give from the heart. Because the heart Heart reflects for actions. You have something to say? Okay. Get it together right now, but uh, I would say that uh, the brain has been tampered because of the, our perceptions. Okay. Maybe the heart is a little bit more. The brain has been tampered because of the our. Soul. The heart is heart, the seed of the soul. The heart is the seed of the soul. Oh, yes. All that he said is perfect. And the best way to keep things, when you say perfect, what I see here is something complete something special something you know cannot be compared to anything where do you keep your uh, uh, precious things you keep it in the heart if you find someone whom you love that person becomes so precious to you 
And where do you keep it? In your heart. He said, my heart has fallen for you. So you keep it in your heart. That is where wisdom is not anything that you can get from a book. Wisdom is not gotten from a book. It is God that gives wisdom. There is difference between wisdom and knowledge. Traditionally, we say that there is difference between how home wisdom and book knowledge. <laughs> and it's true. So if God gives you something, it's so precious. You yourself, you are precious in God's eye. We said, because he said, I created you and breathed in you. So God's spirit lives in you. God's breath lives in you. That is why he put in you the skills, the knowledge, understanding, the love, the joy. And where God, that God keep all this in your hearts. So the perfect wisdom that God has given to you is not in my hands. If it were to be in your hands, the white man will take it away. If it were to be in your body, you will cut that place and take it away. If it were to be something like a gold, you would have taken it from you. But because it's in your heart, nobody can take it. We have an added that says that if you build for a house for your child or your children, the house can collapse. They can lose it. If you give them millions of dollars, they can lose it. The only thing that you can give to your child is knowledge, is education. When that person has education, it goes to that person forever. When he's educated, where does he keep it? He keep it in the heart. Nobody can take it. Even if you kill whoever is still in the heart, the person goes with it. You can't get it. <laughs> so perfect wisdom is always in our hearts. And when it's in your heart, it goes forever. That's why some people who don't have it, they lack those things. Yeah. So we need to teach them, let them know that perfect wisdom is always in our hearts. Thank you so much. Excellent job, Reverend Minister, psychologist, and governor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, just, I just want to say that I can't promise you that I'm not going to be emotional. I'm gonna be emotional because my ancestors are gonna jump over there. Hey, hey please yeah. insanity if you slap somebody. I've been waiting, I've been waiting to meet my ancestors. Emotional in the sense that I know what you mean, I'm just yeah. Yeah. not to the psychologist. Sorry, yeah, thank you. Hey, if you just have to bump somebody and they fell down the stairs, it's accidents happen. Yeah. But not <laughs> don't mind, don't mind. Yeah. But not physically, you understand? Yeah. We got the we got the head hit. Hey, you may be shadow boxing it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the dangers you can. I mean quietly meditate, you know, but not Emotional, Going through the old town ship yeah. here yeah. in Cape yeah. Coast oh. on our way to the African Holocaust dungeon. Hey, these things are expected. Yeah, unfortunately, things go down and it's expected and it's what it is. But that's the reality of the situation being dealt with. If you feel to cry, why? I'm trying to remember what the. You can't control that initially. Yeah, sometimes you cannot control that. But not physical, you know. Emotions can move into physical, serious. And that takes to something. Thank you so much. On our way to Cape uh, Coast, we are Africa almost at the coast dungeon. Now, when we are coming, I'll talk about this place. This is when Obama came to uh, Ghana. This is where he visited. Uh, when we are coming, I'll talk about that. The uh, paramount of Cape Coast uh, is paramount. Um, they come up to the 